Billy Andre. This for birdie at the second, his second nine of the yeah, day. Yeah, the tough second hole, par three, his 11th, 202 yards a day, hit a beautiful tee shot. Hey, when it's your day, you're, it's your day, Cookie. How about a 50-footer for par at seven? For par at seven, tough hole to start with, and left of the green, didn't have. Last week's runner-up, Bernhard Langer, denied by Y.E. Yang in a playoff in St. Louis. Two over for the round today. Just off the right side of the green on this par five. Playing back into the wind today and Yeah, he did hole out really well last week on those and shooting 64 on that championship Sunday. Beat his beat his age by three. Got a good look here for Eagle. Slides off to the right, but good effort. I was a heel shafted putter all my life and had gone to a face balance. It took me a little while. Once you once you get it, it does feel pretty good, but it's, it's uh, it, it is a, a little bit of an adjustment. Richard Green to dip into red numbers here. Yeah, we're going to see a little bit of this today at the 15th, playing straight down win. And if you negotiate the little fairway bunkers, you can get it on this green. Now, it, it does play 368 yards, but uh, he got through the green on that backside, and what a great can play up to 490 yards. They move the tee up a deck. 444 today. Get on the proper level. That is a wonderful golf shot on a tough hole. His first week out after that Achilles surgery, he was about 30%. So he's improving, but he's nowhere near 100%. And what a delightful second shot, his approach there, the 13th. First birdie of the day at the tough 13. Comes from 67-year-old Bernhard Langer. I'll make that eagle at the drivable 15th. And a sprint to the finish there for Richard Green. For birdie here at 16, or 17 rather. Even par for the day, hit a nice tee shot in there, capitalizes. Back at 16, the par five and the green light for Miguel. Good tee shot up the left hand side, now has to put some air under this, which he does. Perfectly right there and rolls out just past the flagstick, but a nice, nice effort there for Jimenez. Jimenez aboard in two and a chance for an eagle at 16. Let's see if he can get one to go. Oh, you're testing his patience. Three putt par back at 15, but a two putt birdie there at 16. That's what you have to do. And the second coming up for Frazier here at the home hole. Yeah, as far as he hits it, I'm sure he got it down there really close, down in that little valley. And a great pitch shot up the slope. Well done. Up to 18, and Harrison Frazier to cap off his opening round with three in a row. After that nice tee shot just short of the green. Nice pitch to there, and a good finish. A little run to the house for Harrison Frazier. I think at this point he's curious too. <laughs> yes. No, he can smash it. This is on an even better line. Yeah, if it's a little more right than Steve Stricker's. Looks like it might do the same thing if it gets through. It Just off the edge. What a shot. <laughs> this will get even better. <laughs> Golf shot there for Darren. It says plus five on the scorecard. <laughs> and he hits. Yeah, this does have a little bit of movement. Yes, indeed. He's been putting through a shadow to boot. No, it didn't take the right hand break. It got he got the first part right. Uh, when you're five over, that's the kind of thing that happens. Elevates these things very quickly. Like that. Just throws Press. that right hand under, hit the hole. Uh, didn't hit the flag stick. Right. Yeah, just a whole different setup for him with the Base balance putter, bigger grip, longer club. Dipping down on it, but he's starting to get the get the feel. If he gets the feel and starts running tables, you know what he can do. Not much to this. Not much to that. <laughs> can this guy fill it up. Three runner-up finishes this season. It says plus four next to his name. That's kind of hard to believe. He did have a 
bit of a struggle from nine through 13. This is towering and landed right at the front of the green, just like he wanted it to. I don't think he could have hit a better shot, John, and it ends up there. No, no, that's a holdable pitch shot as well. Well, he had a wow. little bit of check on that. So he slid that club under the ball, used the grooves to kind of slow it down. Really nicely done. He'll just tap in with the sand wedge. It's back to back birdies. Yes, it is. Just one par on the card for Darren since the eighth hole. Look at that. You can play from the right of the flag. That bunker is not a bad place to be. Saw Stephen Alker almost hole a pitch shot from just off the green, and that's exactly where that's going to go. Right there. Yeah, this is a strange little shot. He's up on a knob behind the green. He's only about 25 feet from the hole, but he's four feet above the level of the green. Yeah, just has to get it on that little down slope right there. Yeah, that was pretty good out of that. Pitches on that down slope. Boy, they make good broadcasters. <laughs> There's another one. That's three in a five-hole stretch for Bernhard. He's got it into red numbers. Yeah, we haven't lost the passion to, to play golf. <laughs> six iron. It's a big six iron from 219. Yeah, he's got to catch it and make sure it doesn't fall out of the sky. This is just left of the flag. Oh, boy, what a big kick. That just motored through the back of the green. I don't think he wants to carry it more than a yard onto the green. He's carried it. Well, just about right. He's Steve Stricker after all. Yeah, that's pretty well done. Well judged out of that bluegrass, ryegrass. Steve Stricker has won 17 times out here, but none in the last 12 months. I think he knows that. I think you're right, John. Highly motivated and very much in the picture now. Just four back of Andre. 16, Jerry Kelly looking for eagle here. Yeah, good opportunity here for Jerry just off the right edge of the green, put up the hill. Okay, good, good birdie. 38 on the front and he's back to level par, four birdies since the turn for Kelly. He heads for 17 with some momentum. Yeah, his through stroke will end up almost hip high. Well, that one was actually more compact. It was. And a better putt. And he sent it. Why not? <laughs> and a better putt it was. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> the stroke was true and pure. Well, it's rare to see this much separation. I mean, only six times in the history of the Champions Tour has anyone built a lead of five shots. That's the largest first round lead we've ever seen in more than 40 years of Champions Tour golf. So Andre, with that 63, will have Steve Stricker's company on day two. Yes, Steve Allen, who's been playing really well lately. Just a dozen players in red numbers on a plus three opening round here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. 22nd event of the season. Only three more in the regular season once we conclude our business here in South Dakota.